Hello, it's Jeremy from Mo. In this video, I will introduce you how to use our SolSpy acquisition software in order to perform any kind of seismic surveys. 1D, 2D seismic surveys, active, passive. Okay, so when SolSpy is deployed on the field, you just need to plug the USB interface to your laptop in order to power supply the system and give the main parameters to perform the acquisition. First, I click on the link button in order to connect the acquisition software with the SolSpy. It will automatically recognize the main parameters of my instrument. Perfect. Here, we can check that we have a 16-channel system, that all the digitization modules are answering well. Here is the resolution that we are applying to each channel, the maximum number of channels that we are currently using, if the sensor is plugged in or not. Okay, in this case, you can see that we are only using the first eight geophones. The geometry as well. You can set the interdistance. These parameters can be set in the command window here. Okay. First, I'm going to change the maximum number of channels and set it to 8 because I will only use the first 8 geophones in this video. Send. Perfect, 8. You can change the resolution as well, okay? Here is just on 1, okay? But for example, if you are on a very quiet site, you can reduce this value in order to improve the resolution. You can also set the geometry, the interdistance here as well. Okay. The first main parameters to set before performing any acquisition are firstly the site name, for example here Venice. Okay. In this way, all my recordings are going to be saved into the Venice folder in my database. And the second one is the sampling frequency, okay, according to the kind of survey. In order to perform a passive seismic survey, so just the acquisition of the background seismic noise, typically REMI, ISAC, SPAC surveys, you just need to set the sampling frequency and start the continuous mode here. You can see all the geophones in real time. Okay. Just need to set the acquisition length, recording length, and start the saving. Okay. At the end of the acquisition, the data will be saved automatically into a continuous folder located into your site name folder. To perform active seismic, seismic refraction, seismic reflection, MSW, I firstly need to set a trigger. Okay. In this case, in the command window, I can set the trigger. And usually, for seismic refraction or reflection, I use the radio trigger because it's easier on the field. I can set the pre-triggering time, the total duration of the shot, and the shot location from the first geophone as well. Okay? So, for example, here at minus 10 meters from the first geophone. Okay? An offset shot. When I'm ready and the sampling frequency is okay, I can start the staking mode. And here I have two windows. The left window is just the continuous window, the traces in real time, and the right window is just the staking window. It will contain the shots, okay, the average of the shots. So then I am ready. I can set the trigger close to the first shot location, okay, start the saving, okay, disarm the system, and perform the first shot close to the trigger. And then I can stack this shot on the right window. Plus. Okay, another one, the same location. Okay, plus the last one, the first location. All right, I can stack the shot, discard this shot if it was not good. 
okay, discard the whole record, and I can also stack the shot in reversed phase, for example, for S-wave analysis. Okay? When I'm OK, I can stop the acquisition. And the software will automatically save two kinds of file, okay? an average file, which contains just the average of all the shots, and a staking file, which contains each shot separately. Okay? If I want to perform an AMSW survey without radio trigger, I can set a geophone as a trigger. For example, if I am going to perform the first shot at 10 meters from the first geophone, I can set the first geophone here as a trigger. Okay? Send. I can then do the same procedure, okay? Staking mode. But in this case, I have my threshold level here at the first geophone to trigger the acquisition. Okay? So then it's the same, I can save the data. Disarm the system. Perform my shot. Okay, and stack the shot. Okay. Plus. Stop the acquisition. Okay. If I need to change an average file, okay, to modify the average, I can just open a staking file in the average mode here in order to modify the averaging. Right? There is also a picking mode here if you want to pick the first arrival waves, okay? And if you need more information about the average and picking modes, you can just use our user manual here.